Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our September membership workshop. And as fall is just beginning, we're going to be talking about some Halloween and school open house best practices to recruit more scouts into your units. And um, I really hope these ideas help you guys get excited about the fall. It is my favorite time of year, so I'm excited to share it with you as well. By the way, if you don't know, I'm Cindy DeFilippo. I am the new family engagement coordinator for Daniel Webster Council. Welcome. So remember, when you are recruiting, not only recruiting the scout, but you're recruiting the family as well. And we're really recruiting to two different audiences, prospective scouts and the prospective scouts, parents or guardians. You know that scouts wanna hear about all the fun they're going to have with their friends. And they wanna know how they're gonna make the new friends and all the cool things they're gonna do. But parents and guardians want to know and hear how their children and family will benefit from scouting. So we keep those things in mind when we're talking to other adults about scouting and trying to really create those partnerships in our community. So when it comes to uh, those open houses with schools and meeting with school administration folks, um, you really wanna talk to them as if they are your parents of prospective scouts that are coming in. So when you go in to meet with them, I think we're all really used to talking about, hey, you know, we want to send out flyers and we want to know if you'll post a poster in the school for us. And we want to know if you'll do this for us and that for us. Right. That's very natural that, you know, we're asking them to do these things for us to get out into the school communities to get our information out there. But let's take a step back and let's really think about what we want to do here. We want to create a lasting relationship with schools and our community partners. And one of the ways to do that is, is to really have that reciprocal relationship. So that means, you know, maybe when you set up the meeting with your school admins, that instead of stating that all the things that you'd like them to do for your unit, offer them the adopt a school program. And if you don't know what that is, that is on our website under resources and downloads. And it simply is an agreement between the school and the scouting unit that for a full year, they commit to a community service project or some projects or volunteer services throughout that year with that school. And it just has, it just introduces scouting to that community. We're there, we're present, we can wear our uniforms or class B shirts and also help out that school and really show them what scouting is all about. So there's a lot of ideas on that adopt a school website link, but just a few quick ones is maybe you help clean up the playground or maybe your unit builds a gaga ball pit for the playground. Maybe you decide to do a mural if you have some artistic scouts and families in your group and you do a mural in one of the wings of the school. Maybe you volunteer at their holiday shops or um, an after school club. The list really goes on. And this really shows them that they're, you're also there to help them out. You can offer enrichment activities during or after school we have the ability to offer some free enrichment opportunities and we're more than willing to talk with you more about that. And you can learn more by um, emailing us at support at nhscouting.org. But we can offer assemblies that are 45 minutes long. That's an enrichment activity like STEM or, or crafts or anything science-based or anything that you can think of that is in the scouting curriculum. We can basically offer to the schools and this is a great way to really show them what scouting is all about and to get into the school and have that relationship with those um, admins as well. Again, offer volunteer services. So if you don't want to commit to the whole year with the adopt school program, then you can offer just uh, volunteer services throughout the year. Maybe they need help stuffing mailboxes. Maybe they need help um, uh, during the car line and things like that. And don't forget to mention the benefits of students who are also scouts. A lot of schools, um, as you've probably talked to, you parents out there, they really notice when students are also scouts. And I'm gonna show you some examples of that coming up as well, but it's great to bring that list in and really um, share with them the benefits of their students joining scouting and the benefits 
that they have with scouts being in their schools. So speaking of benefits of scouting, here they are. Um, I won't read them all off to you. And this slide deck will be available on the Membership and Marketing Hub under um, Membership Workshops. But um, scouts do have a higher academic and um, uh, academic achievement and grades. They have constructive relationship with their peers. They have, they're very positive. Um, they um, really develop a real strong sense of themselves. They can work constructively in groups. And you guys know all this because you see it happening in your units, right? And so these are all um, studies that were conducted with students and scouts. And obviously you can cite these sources that are here as well. And really important to bring up those positives when it comes to scoutings and school relationships. So what does your setup look like? Well, you definitely wanna have a table set up with a branded tablecloth or a banner, or maybe the scouts make their own banner, or, you, or maybe you post a couple of the den flags or patrol flags to get the kids interested. Offer an easy take home activity, like a activity in a bag. And that way in that bag, you could, could, could put maybe a couple pieces of candy, and you know, don't forget to throw in that bring a buddy card or a business card of some sort. Um, anything with your contact information, website, Facebook page, maybe um, you have your QR code to your beascout.org pin so that way folks can scan that and go right to your unit. All of those are great to have in those um, little goodie bags and that way the kids also take home something fun. Encourage folks to leave their contact information with you. So maybe you have a little raffle prize or something that you can give away and that would encourage folks to leave their information. So you could say something like, if you leave your contact information here, um, you will be entered in to win this raffle. And we do have um, a joint scouting night contact sheet that you can use. It's a free downloadable as well on the Mar membership and marketing hub. And you could print that out and have that out at your tables as well. Or you can have the QR code for your pin, for your unit's pin, and folks can register and enter um, their information in the invitation manager, or if they decide to register on the spot because your meeting time works for them and they're excited about scouting, they can actually register online on the spot um, and you'll find their application in the application manager. And then, um, you know, obviously you want a few scouts. You might wanna have one or two in uniform and then maybe one in a class B and maybe have an adult in uniform, an adult in plain clothing. Um, that adult, that volunteer that you do have at the table should be really well versed in scouting and really well, well versed in how your unit works. That way they can answer all the questions right there on the spot and those families don't have to wait to hear back from somebody else. And don't forget, if you're gonna set up at an open house or some school event, you need to advertise and promote that event heavily in your school community. Make sure there's posters up, make sure there's a kid-friendly poster that they'll see inside the school, um, put out join scouting um, uh, yard signs. I just blanked out on that and I talk about yard signs all the time. Put out those yard signs so that way the community knows that you will be there and, um, and just tell them we're there to answer questions and and you know, folks are interested in learning more about scouting. So here are some beautiful recruiting ideas for Halloween. Sorry, I couldn't help myself and spectacular is already taken. So don't forget to send out invites um, to your unit's Halloween party. If you're having a unit Halloween party or celebration of any kind, don't forget to send out invites. So maybe this invite is flyers that you send out to the schools. And you can do a whole Halloween theme if you want on those on those um, flyers or maybe postcards or whatever you decide to do. And just say, you're invited. We're having this costume party and refreshments and all of that. And obviously put the location time, all that fun stuff. Maybe mm -hmm. you put the QR code to your units pin as well um, or to your website or your Facebook page and invite them to the Halloween party. It's a super fun way to get new families in. And as they have questions, you can answer them during the party, or maybe you pull up some of the parents aside during the party and give them a brief, you know, description of what your unit is all about and how to join. 
your unit and chart organization can plan a trunk or treat. These are super popular. If you haven't heard of trunk or treats, basically folks decorate the trunks of their cars and they have candy either out there on the table or within the trunk. And people go around in the parking lot outside and they trick or treat at the trunks of the cars. And it's super fun. The whole family can get involved. And it's a great way to really partner up with your chart organization. Another great partnership would be that maybe your pack and troop partner up together for this event. Um, this is a great event to combine forces and to get to know um, your partnering trooper pack families better as well. Or maybe you partner up if your pack is on the smaller side or your troop is on the smaller side or your crew or your post, and you can partner up with other units in the area as well. You can host a themed costume contest with themed activities and send out those bring a buddy cards with your scouts have them invite a friend or two from school or from their other clubs, um, or, and also send out those invites to local schools. And don't forget guys, on Facebook, this is free advertising. So make sure you have a Facebook public page for your unit. And as you plan these events, make sure you put the events um, in the events section of the page as well and put it out there. And as people follow your page or they see things come up, um, the event reminders will come up for them as well and you can get a good idea of RSVPs and, and who's coming that may be new. And, um, and it's a great way to really just promote these public events. Um, for trick-or-treating in general, or if you're going to another party or another occasion during Halloween time, hand out candy or goodie bags with your scouting information and or invite to the next meeting or event. After Halloween, Promote an Operation Candy Swap, and you can do this again with your tribe organization or another um, community organization, um, it, you know, within your neighborhood, um, and have your tribe organization as a donation location. Promote it in your local paper schools and your communities, maybe at the um, at your grocery stores, and have folks donate their Halloween candy. I know sounds scary, but maybe you know how kids keep. Some parents have kids keep a little bit of their favorites and then the rest mysteriously goes away. Have families donate the extra Halloween candy to the troops. And um, in exchange for that, and you can promote this, kids will receive um, a fun take home activity. So you could do like maybe some rope or paracode for paracord bracelet with some instructions, you know, rope with some knot timed uh, instructions and, and what those knots are used for um those popsicle explosions that you can do um and you can put those in little goodie bags and then within those goodie bags guess what you put your units content information website page QR code all that fun stuff so they're taking home this activity and they get to learn about your unit and maybe you'll see them at your next event all right guys so these are all tricks and no treats. So as we talked about, you can um, do these Halloween stickers, um, stickers or, or tags or however you'd like to do it. Those are in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Um, it says no tricks, no treats. The next adventure is sweet. Join the Scouting family today. Learn more at nhscouting.org slash join or scan the QR code. So those QR codes go to that website. And folks can learn all about scouting and the different programs on that website, but then they can also enter their information and we learn if they're ready to join right away, if they want more information, and then we um, point them in the right direction and get them into your units um, as soon as they're ready. So these are on the membership and marketing hub under resources and downloads. If you scroll down, they're under each specific program that you'll see at the bottom of the page and you can download those tags, print them out, and have your kids help you out or have your unit volunteers help you out and attach those to some candy to give out on Halloween or at your Halloween event. And then also the bring a buddy cards. There's bring a buddy cards for Scouts BSA, uh, family packs, boy packs, and um, they are fillable. So you can fill in the back as you can see here, it's blank with all that information here, but you can fill that in, print those out as well and um, have your scouts hand those out or make sure those go in your goodie bags as well. 
Another thing you can hand out is flyers. You can do this at the open house, open house night. You want to do it obviously promoting your open house night, uh, your school night, your joining night, whichever event you're having. But you can also hand out um, more generic um, flyers that state your your meeting date, time, location, um, you know, contact information, the QR code, um, upcoming events and meetings at the bottom there, um, and you can hand these out at your events as well. There is Scouts BSA flyers, um, girls um, and boys those are separately because those units are um, single gender. And then there's Cub Scout flyers, there's boy flyers, and there's female flyers, and then there's these combo flyers for family packs as well. And if you notice here, it says join Cub Scouts on the backs of the flyers, join Scouts BSA. For those of you that haven't gotten flyers printed yet, this is how we are printing flyers this year because we really should utilize the whole back of our flyer. So the front is the image and the back has all this information. So it has a brief explanation of the program. And then it says um, what your unit is open to. So um, if you're still a single gender unit, then it would say welcoming all boys, grades K through five, um, Scouts BSA, um, this particular troop has a um, 100B and 100G, um, but typically you would say, um, you know, Scouts BSA, boys, ages 11, 17, and then a different flyer with girls, ages 11, 17. Um, and then it has, you know, a brief description of the program. It has your joint scouting night information underneath where it says, you know, all boys and girls in the grades or the ages. And then underneath that, um, it would list your unit's meeting date and time. So that way folks know whether that works for their schedule and then your contact information. And then below that would be um, the upcoming events or meeting dates as well. So if they can't make the joint scouting date, then they have choices to come and check you out at a later date. And that's why when you request flyers, there's a bunch of different questions um, as you as you request flyers to print. So you want to make sure you fill those up with upcoming activities, even if it's um, a hike or, um, you know, as we get closer to the Pinewood Derby and things like that. You can even use council events. For example, if your unit was heading to iBlast, you could promote iBlast in one of the upcoming events as well or Spooktacular. Another thing um, to do this fall, whether it's uh, especially before Halloween, is putting out those yard signs and ask some of your neighbors if they mind putting a yard sign out for you as well. Um, and don't forget to pick up those yard signs. They are on the porch of Nettle Lodge. Um, on your way into Camp Carpenter, it's on the left-hand side. There is a sign out there that says Nettle Lodge as well. We have a whole membership table set up on the porch of Nettle Lodge. And we have yard signs. We have posters available. We have welcome packet um, envelopes, join scouting night envelopes with a checkoff um, list. So you have everything in there that you, um, that you would need. And we also have other resources um, and materials that are on that membership table as well. But we have plenty of yard signs. So take 10 or 20 yard signs with the yard stakes and make sure that everyone in your, in your unit gets a yard sign to display, especially before Halloween. And don't forget, bring your unit or your den or your patrol or small group, and especially those new scouts to Spooktacular. It is on October 22nd, it's 5 to 9 p.m. at Camp Carpenter. This QR code brings you to a registration page. It is $15 per car. And all the resources and materials that you could ever want or need is on the Membership and Marketing Hub. And if you haven't clicked on there lately, it has been redesigned in steps. So when you go to Resources and Downloads, it has step one, which is plan, and it has all the um, links available there to help you plan your joint scouting event. Step two is promote, and it has all the links and resources underneath that to help you promote your event. Number three is execute. You guessed it, all the resources under that to uh, execute the event. And number four, step number four is to follow up. 
And step number five is to welcome. And so it has all those resources organized for you to really have an effective um, joint scouting event. And here is the QR code to the Membership and Marketing Hub. It'll bring you right there, bookmark it, star it, keep it handy. And here, um, this QR code, the top one, is all our Daniel Webster Council membership workshop recordings. We try to record all the workshops and you can watch them there. And if it did have a slide deck, the slide deck is available to download under each workshop as well. And all the national webinar recordings are that is the bottom QR code there as well. And then if we're missing any resources or if you have any questions or ideas, we would love to really hear them. And you can reach out to the membership team at membership at nhscouting.org. I wanna thank you all for your time today. And if, again, reach out to us if you have any questions. Don't forget to join the next membership workshop and lunchtime live is Thursdays at 1230. Would love for you to come on and comment and we can have a live conversation on the Daniel Webster Council Facebook page anytime. And don't forget guys to um, email us, membership at nhscaling.org, your pictures for Adventure on Friday. Send pictures of all your different adventures and community service and all the great things your units are doing because if your picture gets liked and shared the most, you will win a $50 gift card to the Scout Shop. So send that stuff in. We appreciate all you do. Thank you and keep it up. And we will talk very soon. Thank you for all you do.